हेलो माय डियर लवली स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द सेकेंड डे ऑफ डेली फार्मा डोज सेशन सो आई होप यू लाइक द सीरीज वेरी मच बिकॉज येस्टरडे वी हैड स्टार्टेड दिस सीरीज विद अवर फर्स्ट एपिसोड नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द सेकेंड डे ऑफ डेली फार्मा डोज विद द टेन न्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर सेशन विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड्स इज यूज टू प्रिपेयर इमल्शंस ओके इन ऑप्शन वी हैव थ्री मैथड्स लाइक ड्राई गम मैथड वेट गम मैथड एंड बॉटल मैथड एज यू ऑल नो ऑल ऑफ दीज थ्री मैथड्स आर यूज टू प्रिपेयर फॉर अवर इमल्शंस राइट इन ड्राई गम मैथड दिस इज द मोस्ट कंडेंशियल मैथड लाइक वी नीड टू मिक्स द ऑयल विद अवर गम फर्स्ट एंड इन द रेशियो ऑफ फोर इज टू वन दिस इज द रेशियो टू मिक्स योर ऑयल एंड गम एंड देन वी हैव टू एड द वॉटर at once clear so this is the method for dry gum method next we need to quick shake this to make our emulsion second is the wet gum method we need to mix the gum and as well as our water and then we need to oil the uh, add the oil clear third we have the bottle method in this all the ingredients are added in a bottle and shaken heavenly clear so these are the three methods by which we can prepare our emulsions so all of the options are correct that's why option number d will be the correct answer okay now let's move on to the second question that is giger muller counter can detect okay what can it detect it can detect all of these three radiations because the gas is filled in a tube like structure and when a ray of radiation is passed through it it detects all of these three radiations by the ionization of those gases clear so alpha beta and gamma all these three rays are detected by using our giger muller counter method especially it is helpful for our beta rays clear so here also the option number d will be the correct answer clear okay now let's move on to the third question dash is in third generation intra uterine device okay intra uterine device it is used for the control of your population whenever a woman doesn't want any child further then they go for this copper t lipis loop and nova 7 as well as the progesterone now these the two lipis loop is the first generation this is the first generation copper t it doesn't contain any amount of drugs next we have copper t this comes under the second generation of intra uterine device it contains small amount of drug next we have progesterone it contains 3 mg c total amount of progesterone in this device known as progesterone and this is the third generation of our intra uterine device so correct answer will be option number d progesterone and as you know these are used for the misconception of your pregnancies clear now the fourth question fill in the blanks dash more dash merrier this is an idiom and you need to complete this i think uh, the both the article the the will be fitted here because the mirror the more the mirror means if there will be lots of people then there will be lots of fun so the correct answer will be option number d the and the clear okay because this is an idiom you cannot change any article according to your wish okay this should be as it is it is pronounced or it is said okay next question one of the following general characteristic is not true for alkaloids okay now what is alkaloids we all know nitrogen is present in our alkaloids in the form of heterocyclic nucleus yes this is very much true most of the alkaloids have nitrogen atom in a heterocyclic ring structure example pyridine and indole that's why the nitro uh, basic nature of our alkaloids is due to our heterocyclic nucleus next we have they have the good solubility in organic solvents yes true this is also true because of our alkaloids contain some free base form of alkaloids that is 
soluble in organic solvents like ether like chloroform but it is insoluble in water this salt form however are water soluble clear so option number a and option number b both are correct pka is less than 7 so this is wrong the pka is that means it is showing what acidic but alkaloids are not acidic they are basic in nature due to the presence of nitrogen clear so this value is greater for our alkaloids Less, uh, next we have this is the wrong option exhibit optical activity definitely our alkaloids exhibit opti optical activity how because they contain the chiral center what is the chiral center the center from which the four different functional groups is been attached that is known as the chiral center so in our alkaloids we have a chiral center so they show the optical activity hence this sentence is also correct but our option number c is incorrect clear we need to know the reasons behind why all of the options are correct or not okay now next question please okay uh, let's move on uh, before moving on uh, i'm just want to remind you about a book which is very precious for all of you one of the student in last session also commented in the uh, comment section that ma'am we need the tagging of previous year questions in our classes definitely we will uh, continue the tagging with the, uh, the next sessions but if you need all the previous year questions in the form of hard copy book then the aim pharmacist book will be the best book for you because it contains 40 previous year papers with 10 model papers clear also you can see many of the explanations provided in youtube as well as in your courses clear okay next question cephalo is for in work by okay what is this cephalosporin you all know it is a type of antimicrobial drug and how does it work what is the mechanism of action does it uh, in, uh, play the role in protein synthesis inhibition so the protein synthesis inhibition what is this this is stops the performance of your bacterial ribosomes from making essential proteins this is known as your protein synthesis inhibitor examples are tetracycline examples are erythromycin examples are chloramphenicol clear so definitely cephalus foreign mechanism of action is not this next we have cell wall synthesis inhibitor what does it say cell wall synthesis inhibitors blocks the formation of peptidoglycan layer containing bacterial cell wall rupture clear if there will be no cell wall then automatically the bacteria will be dead and the examples of drugs which are responsible for cell wall inhibition are cephalosporin clear so next we have all type of fluoroquinolones next we have dna synthesis inhibition what is this dna synthesis inhibition it inhibits the dna gyrase or we can say topo isomerase stopping the dna replication hence the replication of bacteria is inhibited the growth of bacteria is inhibited now there will be the stoppage in our infection right examples are ciprofloxacin okay second we have the cell wall synthesis inhibition what does it mean cell wall synthesis inhibition means the block formation of peptidoglycan layer which is present in the bacterial cell wall hence your cell wall is ruptured and there will be the no living bacteria now present examples of drugs responsible for cell wall synthesis inhibitions are penicillin cephalosporin as well as vancomycin the third we have the dna synthesis inhibitor it is responsible for inhibiting the dna gyrase enzyme which is also known as topo isomerase which in return stops the dna replication now that's why our bacteria is dead the examples of drug which is responsible for dna synthesis inhibition are first of all we have our ciprofloxacin and all fluoroquinolones drug categories option number d says 
plasma membrane leakage what is this in this type of drugs damages the bacterial cell wall causing the leakage of all cell contents is known as plasma membrane leakage and the drugs responsible for this activities are our polymyxin b as well as amphotericin b clear so that's why if we analyze all the options the correct option will be option number b that is cell wall synthesis inhibitor and the example is our cephalosporin okay let's move on to the seventh question which says okazaki fragment is formed during okay whenever there is the replication in our dna we have two strands of dna which are copied but they run in an opposite direction that is the anti parallel direction which is the dna polymerase enzyme can add nucleotides only in 5 to 3 strand direction so one strand called the leading strand as well as that is made continuously but the other strand is known as the lagging strand it is made in short pieces now these short pieces are called okazaki fragments and hence it is responsible for our dna replication clear so what is the okazaki fragments is it uh, it is very much clear to you as well as it is responsible for our dna replication it is proved so correct answer will be option number a that is replication clear now let's move on to the eighth question which says which part of the brain controls balance and coordination of body movements okay we have cerebrum we have cerebellum medulla oblongata as well as spons now see cerebrum have you ever i think in recent times uh, in recent cases you have heard a word about drum which is very much famous the blue drum clear now okay that is the funny part okay let's skip it let's come to the content okay so drum is responsible for storing whatever we can store the memories the thinking ability everything is dependent upon our drum that is cerebrum clear cerebellum balam means balance what does this balam says that is the balance so this part of our brain is responsible for maintaining the balance in our bodies clear next we have medulla oblongata this is responsible for the involuntary functions of our body like respiration like the heart rate it controls the heart rate involuntary means you doesn't have any control in those actions that is known as involuntary actions clear so which part of brain control balance and coordination that is balam balam stands for balance clear and brum stands for drum that means the storage of your memories the thinking everything is responsible for uh, by our cerebrum clear so correct answer is our cerebellum okay now let's move on to the ninth question which method is used for sterilization of heat sensitive materials the name itself says heat sensitive means the things or the materials which are very much sensitive to the heat that means like uh, example your cotton example for your plastics these are the heat sensitive materials what is autoclaving autoclaving is we use the water and the high temperature and pressure to sterilize our bacteria uh, utensils or everything dry heat sterilization like example is oven the microwave oven in this without applying any water resources we directly heat up our glassware next we have filtration how we filter our coffee or we can say how we filter our tea that is the process of filtration so in this filtration process there is no involvement of a single heat so it can be the better option for our heat sensitive materials
clear next we have incineration incineration means the complete burning till it converts itself into an ash is known as incineration so this is also not applicable but yes option number c which stands for filtration is the perfect process for heat sensitive materials okay now next question and the last question who proposed the famous germ theory so i leave this question for you guys comment in the comment section what will be the correct answer and we will reclaim this question in the next session so comment down the correct answer i will watch each and every one's uh, comment and uh, also like this session share with your friends so that they can also prepare for their examinations and the question tagging will be available from the next part okay so all the very best prepare yourself for examinations